Yeah, I started coaching back in uh, 02 over at Collier Elementary. And then from there, I was a Pima County Parks and Recreation after school thing. And then from there, because I worked with the county, I knew the lady over at Rogers. And that's when you first met me as coaching. I went over to Rogers and started coaching them. And I coached them for about four or five years. And then that merged over to Kellon. And my son went to Kellon. And that's how I got involved. And I wanted to coach because of my son. I wanted to coach him and be a part of that and be his coach. And that was my motivation to coach. So I've been doing it. So after Kellon, I'm at Fickett full time with the middle school and elementary. And I ran the program there and it's been successful. And because my son still attended Kellon, I didn't want to stop coaching Kellon. So the principal approach, approached me and asked me if I can coach the elementary team. So I just took that on. I figured I'm going to be at the gym all day anyway. And I had a couple of really good assistants of that year. And I was able to jump around from gym to gym and coach, uh, I think I had six teams that year that I ended up coaching. So it was a lot of fun. I do it for the kids because the kids, they want to play. And, you know, it's all about them. So that's why I do it. My girls have been working really hard. I had a great staff and a great assistant coach. Her name was Joe Ortiz. She helped me out a lot and we've been working year round. You know, we do a summer thing and uh, it paid off really well. My girls were uh, had a great season. We ended up winning the Lute Olsen tournament as well. And that was a lot of fun. We got a chance to meet Lute Olsen and take pictures with him. And um, it was just really exciting season. My girls worked really hard all season long to improve. Some of those girls I've had when I was coaching them over at elementary, the fourth and fifth grade levels. I've had them for four or five years and they've been in my system and it worked out really well. The girls deserved it. They put the work into it and I was happy for them, you know, so it's really exciting. This year you uh, successfully uh, started a hopefully annual uh, tournament for TUSD schools. Tell us about that. Um, that idea came from all the elementary schools, uh, coaches, uh, myself and Walter talked about trying to get more games in to prepare ourselves better for the Cougar Classic, you know, the great tournament that you run, you know, so I try to just mirror that and give these kids more opportunities to play, especially indoors, you know, we do our season outdoors and like today, you know, we had to cancel ours due to weather and so it's, you know, a lot of kids don't get the chance to play or be prepared and so we started, the, the idea came and I took it upon myself to just get it going and talking to the local high schools and we were fortunate enough to get them to support us and their varsity team and it was a great, great experience. And a full day, you know, every, each team was guaranteed four games and it was just helpful for the kids, you know, give them that experience and better prepare them for, for your tournament, so. Excellent. Tell us about your family. Uh, a lovely wife. Uh, my wife and I, we met in junior high. Uh, she's my everything and I love her so much. Um, we have a son, Armando, who's 12. We had him right after we graduated high school. We went to high school together. And now we, uh, we have two children, Isaac and Alejandro, and we have fourth one on the way, due in July. And so um, I do everything for my family. You know, I, do, I started coaching for my, for my son. My wife supports me 100%, you know, and without her, I wouldn't be able to do this, and her patience, and you know, her, she, her being my rock, and without her, it just not, wouldn't be done. So, you know, she's everything to me. Coach Mack approached me and he said he needed help and, you know, Vada Da, I told him I'd do it and they needed that and uh, at the time those elementary kids were going to fit kids, they were my kids and they were, you know, they wanted to keep playing and I felt bad for them and, you know, I knew in order to have a successful program you have to have a B team and you need your 6th and 7th graders to play and so that's why I did it and I knew that one day my son would follow to fit kid and that's what I wanted so that's why I ended up doing it mainly because I knew my son would eventually get there and when he moves on I'm still I still plan to stay and I have no no desire to go anywhere else right now so I always felt and I've always told my coaches you know it takes it it takes everyone to help out you know not just the head coach the assistant coach um, the dads the moms you know it's a big thing and when I helped over at Ficky uh, as a volunteer coach Mack taught me a lot you know I knew a lot I learned a lot from Eric Brock Ron Barlow David Jinn and all those teachings I put into my coaching and you know, I want to be able to do it for the kids and, you know, I don't get paid for it, it's not a big deal, the kids love it and they need that and I, I'm just glad I can do it and I'm glad I can be there. I work for AVID over at Booth Fickey, I'm a tutor there and I work there three days a week and I help with that program, but I'm going to school, I'm uh, going to transfer over to Prescott College to finish my degree, get my degree in education, that I can be a teacher, that's always been my goal, you know, so that's something I've been shooting for, you know, I've had bumps in the road, you know, and my kids, I have taken a break from going to school 
but that is my number one goal to finish and to be a teacher, to be in the classroom and to continue coaching for many, many years.